what you do when you have nine hours of Spanish homework due? Naturally, you don't do any of it, and you play Most Wanted. Ricers be like, that's just a nice performance mod. Let's more air into the engine. So I'm really excited because we're going to be doing a install with the new Canon intake with the CRX. And then we're going to be doing a sick video edit for the car. I've been driving this Audi for like 15 minutes. I'm amazed it hasn't broken down yet. Very un Audi like Hey guys, thanks for watching the vlog today. I'm really excited because we're going to be doing something with the uh, CRX Del Sol. And I love playing with that car. It's so much fun to play with. And then I'm actually going to do a really awesome video edit on that car like I did on the Infinity in my uh, previous vlog. And if you haven't seen that one yet, it's titled The Fastest Car at Arizona State University. Check it out. Uh, I'm pretty proud of that edit, so <laughs> it's a lot of fun to make it anyway. Even if, uh, even if some people don't like it too much, it was, I still had fun making it. Just like all the videos. So uh, stay tuned and let's get this done. Okay, so if you've been keeping up with the vlogs, you know that I got the new filter in the mail, and I am so excited to go get this. Alright, so let's go get this thing put in the car, and let's get to it. Now, this is not something to really be bragging about to your friends. If you put in a filter, like, come on, it's an air filter, no one really cares. That being said, it's quite impressive what these things can actually do. I have personally seen on a dyno run with and without k &N air filters, with stock air filters, that was the only difference. It made 20 horsepower with the k &Ns. Now that car benefited it more from it than we will because it had twin intakes and the bigger engine. But we should still be benefiting from it quite a bit and we're expecting around 10 horsepower. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually headed to the racetrack later today to go watch the drag racing. And I'll go ahead and I'll film that for you guys. And if there's anything at all interesting, I'll definitely post it so you guys can watch too. Um, if it's boring, not gonna put it up there for you, but if there's some cool, interesting stuff, I promised at the beginning when I made my channel that I would bring my camera along to every car event I went to and that I would make sure to capture that so I could share it with you guys. So if there's some good race in there, you bet you're gonna see it. All right, let's get the hood popped and go get the tools that we need to do this. It's not hard to do, pretty easy. I've done it on uh, cars in the past and you could definitely feel it. It's not, it's not an imaginary thing. Definitely creates a usable horsepower. So now this one is the D16Y8 engine. It is SOHC VTEC, and it puts out about 127 horsepower. So let's see if we can bump that figure up. All right, um, so it looks like we're gonna need some Phillips head screwdrivers. That'll work. And that might be it. Oh, you guys might see some of that in future vlogs, by the way. I skateboard. All right, let's get this baby out. Always a good idea to label your spark plug leads with your distributor cap if you ever uh, switch out your distributor cap. Makes it a lot easier to reinstall it. Okay, so there's the old one. As you can see, the openings on this one are tiny. Don't allow for much air through. That's pretty much closed up. There's not much uh, room for air to go between that material, the paper. Now you see on the k and one that it's uh, a lot more space. Okay, so you can see on this one that it's far less restrictive. The openings there are monumentally bigger than they are on the standard cheapo one and it's just better built 
it has clips here for the screws going in to hold it into the airbox. That's something my other models actually uh, didn't use, so it's pretty neat. And it's easy. You just slap it where the old one used to be. Let's put this one in the box and keep it for safekeeping, just because. So there you go. It goes in just like that. Woo! Okay, now let me address something. This alone is not going to turn you into a supercar, but it can help your engine breathe better. Now, uh, a common misconception, at least in my personal experience, comment below if you have a different opinion of this. I would love to hear the, uh, everyone's different opinions. But the stock air boxes on cars are the most effective that you can get for an air intake system. The uh, short ram intakes and cold air intakes, there's a, there's a reason that the companies don't install those from the, um, from the factory. And that's because a lot of times, if you live in a hotter climate, now if you live somewhere where it's cold, maybe not so much of a big deal. But a lot of times in the warmer weather, the metal that they use on those cold air and short ram intakes can generate, or cannot generate, but can hold a lot of heat. So when the engine starts running and you're driving around and it's 100 degrees out, that intake heats up a lot, making the air going into it even hotter. So you could be actually losing power with the cold air intake because even though you're getting the air from a different spot, it might not be enough to make up for the fact that the piping is metal and it gets a lot hotter than the plastic uh, tubes that they put in from the factory for the air boxes. So that's why... I think that the best compromise for that is to get drop-in filters from a performance company such as K&N. Another thing is don't cheap out with filters because a cheap filter can break down and the paper could get into your engine, which is something you obviously don't want. Now I am going to test this out. I am going to the dyno sheet. I'm going to the racetrack later and the racetrack has a dyno that my friend has there. And he's going to let me run it on there, and uh, we're going to run it without the K&N, with the K&N, see what happens, see if we made that extra 10 horsepower that I was shooting for, and then I will get the results from that, I'll let you guys know, and that'll probably, I'll probably let you know in like the, the next vlog. Um, so I'm super excited to see that. Plus it's good just to get like a base for where the car's at now, because like I said in previous vlogs, the goal for the uh, CRX Del Sol is to make it a 300 horsepower car. It only weighs... Um, a couple thousand pounds. Pretty light car. Alright, well, that's enough of that. Let's get her washed up, and then we can go take care of this, and then we can get to the racetrack. I just want to say, wow. There is no doubt the CRX pulls harder with the K&N. It's amazing how such a little difference can matter so much, because it's just the difference between the car being kind of quick and genuinely fast. And... It's really awesome. So we have more performance mods for the CRX on the way. Remember the goal for the build is 300 horsepower, clean 300, and we'll get there. Alright, thank you for watching so much. Uh, I realize I am a smaller channel and I don't try to pretend to be something I'm not. Honestly, I just like filming the adventures that I have with the car life. And uh, I hope that there's people that want to go along with it. But if not, I like doing the videos. So, all right. Thank you. So, for more content, subscribe and like the video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. It's really cool that people want to uh, want to see what I'm doing. All right. Catch you next time.